There's a picture floating around on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and other social media sites of this guy named Jeremy Meeks that recently got into some trouble with the law. And he took a mug shot as they do with any criminal that's being processed or so-called criminal. And he took the mug shot and got out to social media. And a lot of the ladies have been going bonkers over this guy. I mean, you know, <laughs> the thirst has been real. And a lot of women are saying, you know, he's attractive, he's cute. You know, you've been hearing all type of, um, you know, suggestive themes that women have been saying on, uh, like me, for an example. I've seen a lot of it on Facebook. But, you know, the women have just been, you know, going bananas over this guy, over the way he looks. And I'm not a player hater, you know, I, I don't, uh, you know, get jealous or get mad or get in my feelings because women find another man attractive, you know. <laughs> I, I don't I don't give a damn, I'm not hating on the guy. But what really, uh, it made me look at the overall situation in a way that, you know, like, damn, you know, this is where our society is going and where a lot of our women today their mindsets are at there's nothing wrong with finding a guy attractive whether he's a so-called criminal or whether he's a pastor like i've said before in previous of my videos that i did uh about the whole nice guy thing a lot of people think because they have a certain um you know economical level or they have a certain title like you know a pastor or something like that or um uh, maybe they dress a certain way. They think all women should be running after them. And, you know, like I say, you know, if you're attractive, you're attractive. It doesn't matter whether you a, a so-called criminal or you're a pastor or some uh, other conservative type of uh, theme of your life. But what really rubbed me the wrong way about it is when I started seeing a lot of sexual content that was being written under this guy's picture you know i saw things like oh he can get this pussy or you know i'll work that all night or i'll put money on his books and i mean so on and so on and it got me to thinking like these are some of the same women that complain about how there's no good men out here especially the quote no good niggas um all black men are locked up or they're gay Black men don't take care of their responsibilities, but you have all these women writing sexual content, you know, I mean, basically being fast little hoes, you know, on social media, being thoughts simply because this man's attractive. Basically, was saying point blank period, I will open my legs and let him smash simply because of the way he looks. And that's all he had to do. You don't, you don't, you're annoying the fact that this man has taken a mug shot, which means he's in some type of trouble, and from my knowledge, um, he's been in trouble before, so this is not the first time, you know, that, um, you know, he's even taken a mug shot or been in trouble with the law, so you know that this guy has a history of having criminal activity in his life, yet simply by, because of the way he looks, you got a lot of women out here basically want to open their legs for this man, and this is what contributes to uh, a lot of the single parent households out here and, and women, you know, bitching and complaining about how there's no good men out here. But a lot of times we have women out here with questionable behavior themselves or basically don't know how to choose good men or, or, or just lack of choosing good men. But then when they make the wrong decisions or they choose men that are not responsible don't have any integrity, don't want to get up and work and provide for themselves or their family, don't have a good hair on their shoulders, want to go out here and, and, and act like a little boy or commit criminal crimes out here for a quick dollar bill. They choose these men but then want to go back and complain about the, about the decisions that they made. And I think this is a big problem, not just within the black community, but I think it's more detrimental for our community, but this is a problem within women in general. You know, you guys come out here and you pick no good men and then you want to turn around and you want to blame all black men or men in general for the bad decisions that you made. And like I said, you know, it's nothing wrong with finding this guy attractive. You know, if you, if you think the guy looks good, hey, that's all fine and dandy. But when you got women basically wanting to open their laser for this man, all he had to do was look good, I find that to be a problem. And it's come out that, uh, you know, I did a little research that, uh, you know, he actually has a wife. First people were saying that he was gay or bisexual, and, and he possibly could be bisexual. I don't know this guy. 
but it came out that um you know he has a wife and his wife which you'll see on the screen a man is a white woman you know so i wonder will a lot of these black women that was on his tip and being thirsty will they still find him attractive the way they did knowing that his wife is not a black woman and i believe this guy has a son uh man uh the pictures that he that he had taken with another guy which um, stirred up the rumors of him possibly being gay, I was told maybe it's his brother. So, you know, I mean, that's a whole different thing. But I just wanted to talk about this because, I mean, the, the, the thirst, you know, <laughs> of this guy has been absolutely ridiculous. And like I said, you know, if y'all find him attractive, that's cool. You know, I, I'm not tripping off that. I, I don't give a shit. But when we have, when I see a lot of my sisters out here, you know, and women in general, lusting over this guy and, and, and you know, making certain sexual remarks and basically being a, a all-out slut for this guy simply because of the way he looks you know that's just a, a, another um identification that we have a lot of women out here that choose no good men off of dumb stuff you know because he might have money or you know he might be the so-called bad boy or uh he might look good or he has swag you know these are the type of decisions that a lot of our women are making and, and it's making our society corrupted. And this is why we have a, a big um, influctuation of single parent household and single mothers with no help. It's because of the decisions that you guys are making. And, you know, let's keep it real. Women, you know, they have the vagina. They control a lot of things that go on. You know, a woman is meant to receive a man, meaning that. You allow that man to come into your body. Well, not you know you know what I mean by come, but you you allow a man to you receive a man. So you have the ultimate power. You know if women was to collectively come together now and say, you know what, if you're not a man of integrity, if you're not a man that is about taking care of his family, if you're not a a, a man that is, is an honorable man, a respectful man, a man that knows how to treat women. If you're not a man that is serious about creating the future, not only for himself, but for his family, we're not going to deal with you. You're not getting no ass. You're not getting no pussy. We have a lot of cats out here really shape up what they're doing right now. And to be honest with you, I think, I think crime in a lot of our inner cities will go down because a lot of this goes back to wanting to please women. You know, a lot of these guys go out here and, they, you know, their whole... Things, oh, I need to get the money because the money, you know, uh, brings in the women. Or, you know, I need to go out here and get these new J's. Whether I got to stab a cat or rob somebody or do whatever I got to do to get these J's. Because this is what the women are checking for. You know, they, they, they want the guy that got the fresh outfit on. And, you know, the Louis Vuitton, the, the $150 bullshit Air Jordan sneakers. This is what's drawn in the women. So, a lot of these guys are like, okay, well, the, the ones that are impressionable and maybe didn't grow up with a father in the household themselves, you know, they're looking at it like, well, hey, I have to do this no matter what in order to get the approval of a woman. So, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just an issue that I think that uh, <laughs> is really not being brought to everyone's attention. And, you know, I had to talk about this cat because, <laughs> I mean, the, the, the level of ignorance I've seen when this mugshot came out was just absolutely ridiculous and you know like I said I don't know if this brother is innocent or or, um, or guilty of what he did to get him get the mugshot took him from the jump but just knowing whether he's innocent or not just knowing exactly what's going on with that picture alone a lot of women should have been like yeah okay you know he's attractive but I'm gonna leave it at that when you start saying you know, I have sex with him, or, you know, he can have my baby, or, you know, you start putting little sexual pictures up, you know, you skeeting and all type of stuff, I mean, or squirting, I mean, you know, that's crazy, and that goes to show you the level of, of intelligence and decision making that a lot of our women have out here, but, you know, that's my two cents on this, uh, you guys can give me your feedback if you want, but, uh, you know, women, black women especially, you got to start waking up. You have to start choosing better men because it's detrimental to our society. And like Malcolm X said, the mother is the first teacher of the child. And, and the type of decisions that you make are going to affect that child because they are watching you. But I'm out.